Good morning, everybody. Monday morning, we are here. The market is up. Everything is looking good and green so far. We got Frank first in the chat, as always. Sometimes I forget to schedule the live, and then I'm like, uh, let's just schedule it and go live, man. See what happens. Frank's still first in here. Paul, Victor, what's going on, guys? Frank, Paul, Donnell. Hello, Clay. How are you doing today? Donnell, I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Uh, what is up, Clay Bro Ham? What is going on, Outdoor Smile? Glad to have all of you guys in here. Let's take a look at the market. Why? Because it's green. Because it's green. Why wouldn't we look at it when it's green? We've got Farmy sitting at 17.08 right now, up 1.43% on the day. Shiba Inu Coin sitting at 25.03. GameStop sitting at $125.86, up 6% on the day. Prog soaring, flying. Prog sitting at 6.67% higher, $1.44. The NASDAQ. 0.60% in the green today. Pull it back slightly from that high right there at 13810. And our beloved AMC. We are gonna take down 20 today. We are gonna take down $20 today. It is going to be beautiful. AMC sitting at $19.20 right now. Very, very nice gains on the day, guys. Looking great. What is up, Clip? Oh, saw that devil's advocate. I have a follow-up question. Yeah, ask away, man. Ask away. Uh, Devil's Advocate and I were talking about cryptocurrencies, decentralization, centralization, whether or not cryptocurrencies could be sanctioned at all, and things like that regarding Russia, Ukraine, and all of that. Good conversation, actually, man. Good conversation. I was actually thinking I might do a video on that a little later. Not exactly sure if that's something people will be interested in, but crypto, guys, it's going to be very hard to shut down. Hello, everyone. Smash that like button. Shit. Zoo Eno, listen to Eno, not Eno. Listen to this guy and smash that like button, please. Minnesota in the house, SJP Espana. We got a couple Minnesotas in the house today. Very good, SJP. Glad to have you in here. Clay is beautiful. KM, you are beautiful. Good morning slash afternoon, Clay. Natalie, good morning slash afternoon to you. Natalie, I'm so glad you're in here. My goodness. Let's move this a little bit so we got the microphone here. Might be slightly louder for you guys. Maybe turn the volume down if, if it does get too loud, but we're doing good. Uh, Clay, any thoughts on bat or sand? Uh, you know, I don't know too much about what b basic attention coin has going on, but sand, sandbox, all these different metaverses, man, I think they got potential to do some very big things. Um, so, th like, a lot of the gaming tokens and a lot of these metaverse tokens, I'm bullish on those, especially once money starts to flow back into crypto. Like I say, I don't know too much about basic attention coin. I know it's 60 ish cents and it was loving a dollar a couple months ago. So, uh, it, you know, clearly it's looking pretty cheap to a lot of people. And as money flows back into crypto, it'll probably flow back into bat too. But I don't know what they like, I don't know what their purpose is or what they do. But, um, gaming tokens. So, like Sandbox, I would include it since it's a metaverse. Very, very high search volume in Asia. Does it matter? I don't know, man. But very high search volume in Asia. People are going to be loving to get on those gaming tokens. Uh, sounds like a legit video. Bring it. Let's do it. I would love a solo video on the topic. And I personally think a lot of people would enjoy it and think you're a big brain guy for even thinking of, of the topic at all to begin with. Dude, you're the, you're the one that thought it talked it. You're the one asking the questions, Devil's Advocate. Come on now. Appreciate the honesty and input. Robert, man, appreciate you being in here. Honesty and input. That's what it's all about. It's better than honesty and output, or dishonesty and output, I guess. Part one. Okay, so I was talking to my dad about it over the weekend originally and the dangers of crypto for not being able to be used in sanctions and how that lessens their impact on affecting Russia. Okay. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bring on a part two. I got this. Ah, I got this, man. I love dangers. I love danger. Speaking of danger, Steve Danger, are you out there right now? Gang, EBGO has a lot going on with new deals. Please check it out. Check it out, guys. Good morning to you, Kelly Scott. Hey, I made it. Woohoo! Today, I get to be a bro. Dindy James is a bro today, tomorrow, and the rest of the week. Dindy, so glad to have you in here, man. All right, let's slightly adjust this so we're not cut off the top of our heads there. Part two. So, say we can't affect their money as much as we want to, that means the last longer right i would say yes which means that they can just battle it out and sanctions aren't important no so the government uh, maybe 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 i'm gonna i'm i can't concede that one i will say maybe on that one 
but it looks like there's a part three coming up. We got Shima Inu coin pulling back slightly right now, guys. Red candle, red candle, red candle. AEMC pulling back slightly as well. I would imagine the NASDAQ pulling back slightly as well. Yep, NASDAQ coming down a little bit too. Prog, $1.43. Lost a cent since we last talked about it. GameStop, $124.63. Farmy, $17.06. $17.06. Nice on Farmy. Sundial, and the green. And the green. Sundial, guys, what a great week. Look at this. Look at it. Green, 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 green. Green, 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 green. Everything is in the green. Looks amazing to me, man. Amazing. When Moon, rest. God. This dude's still got a blue name. Wrestler. I didn't take my weekend duties appropriately. Please. <laughs> enjoy the enjoy your blue name. I don't know if I said green name or not. Enjoy your blue name, man. Enjoy your blue name for today. Oh, boy. I'm dropping the ball on the weekends. Part three. Uh, so the government has a more legitimate basis to say we need in on this. You said in DMs so what they can only do if they make it illegal, but I thought they could track wallets. If so, how does that work? And is that also a slow process which would lessen the efficiency of sanctions, which wartime, to add a perspective of what I meant earlier, I believe the White House said in sanctions would... This is a long thing. This is a long thing. So let me start on it. Let me start. Yes. So there's a couple different things, man. There's uh, like if you're using Ethereum, if you're using, you know, Shiba Inu coin based on the Ethereum blockchain, largely start having an effect after about a month or bigger rush. If crypto slows this down, doesn't it make it harder for you and NATO to help the other? Yeah, yeah. So if if cryptocurrency in general is a large concern for Russia, for people, for anything of of those like of that matter. If you've got exchanges like Crypto.com, Webull, Binance, uh, Coinbase, all of these centralized exchanges that take your information down, you know, they you you need to hook up your bank account to them, you need to hook up your debit card to them, you need to do all of these things. If you've got that going on, that's a centralization. And these centralized exchanges, they do report. They, they have a know your customer or NYC or whatever it is. And they need to know their customer and prevent money laundering. So they could, I don't know how easy it would be to do it, but they could easily, let's just say, shut down these centralized exchanges. In that case, you know, you can't have, like if you had, if you were sitting on a million dollars worth of Ethereum or a million dollars worth of Shiba, what are your options? Well, you got to transfer it to a crypto.com, you got to transfer it to a Coinbase, you got to transfer it to a Binance and then cash it out or trade it in, in, you know, trade it for fiat, and then put that money back in your bank account. That would be, in my opinion, fairly simple for any any regulatory body, a government, to come in there and tell you, all right, centralized exchanges, you are shut down, right? Plain and simple. And they could sanction Russia in that way if, if okay, you have to remember Right now, Russia's currency, the ruble, is getting ripped. It's a, it's at the lowest value it's ever been, and it's not looking good for it. I don't know if Russia cares about U.S. dollars or not, but all of their money that's tied up in U.S. dollars, these rich guys, these banks, these investment banks, uh, all of the different companies that deal with Russia and, and so on, it's cutting them out from the outside world. Now, let's say that they do want to circumvent it, and for the sake of this argument, they're using cryptocurrencies to try and like lessen the sanctions, not worry about all of their, their ability to deal in U.S. dollars and euros and pounds and so on. There are, there's a couple different things you need to know about cryptocurrencies too. So if you're worried about wallets, yes, you can, tra you can track transactions from wallet to wallet in things like Ethereum and so on. So if you're if you want to deal if you want to do business with Russia and you're going to use Ethereum, Bitcoin, you know, or really anything on these uh, on these blockchains that can be traced, then <laughs> you can, but it's it's likely that they're going to say, "Okay, well, shoot, man, this is Putin's wallet." And Putin's wallet received transactions from these 10 wallets. And that's all we got to do is go figure out whose 10 wallets these are. Now, 
you could run into a brick wall. You could run into a dead end because if you just, if you mined that Ethereum, let's say you, you mined that Ethereum and you never, uh, you never sent it to a centralized exchange to, to cash out. You never had any identity whatsoever with that wallet that you were mining your Ethereum to. All that does that you can trace wallets is, is show you, well, it originated in this wallet. We have no idea who owns this wallet, but we can track all these transactions. If you're using something like Zcash or Monero, those are the two that I can think of right now, that are these privacy coins, you don't have access to uh, wallet transactions. It all becomes encrypted at that point. That's why India was talking a couple months ago, I think you guys can remember, that India wanted to ban these privacy coins should you? I don't know. But you can't see wallet-to-wallet -wallet transactions and who owns and how much was sent and things like that. They're privacy coins for that reason. So if they wanted to deal in Monero, if they wanted to deal in Zcash, they could, but they still have to have the problem of, you know, converting that. If they don't want to keep it in Zcash or Monero, if they want it to turn back into Russian rubles, I don't think Russia is going to have a problem because Russia is not banning cryptocurrency and Russia would welcome the fact that they can bring in money through these cryptos and then if they decide to transfer them to rubles or if they decide to send them to another uh, another business uh, across the globe and start transacting strictly in Monero, yes, they've got that option. Now, like I say, the, the government could probably fairly easily come in and shut down centralized exchanges. Dude, my miner right there, my miner's running right now. It's mining Ethereum Classic at the moment. If, here's the thing, the, 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 the best they could do, the best they could do is turn off my electricity and then I would literally not be able to mine Bitcoin or mine Ethereum Classic. But let's just say they make it illegal to own, to own or mine cryptocurrency, right? Well, one, They've made things illegal before that people still clearly partake in, and it, it doesn't stop people from doing it when it becomes illegal. Two, you know, if I just mine that to my wallet and it has no indication that that wallet is mine, I can continue mining. And that is the whole decentralized aspect of crypto. You can make it illegal, but you can't shut it down. If they take away my electricity, yes, they could stop my miner from running. But the other 10 million guys across the globe that are currently mining Ethereum Classic would just pick up my slack. And then they would be the ones getting paid out. I wouldn't. So in order to legitimately shut down cryptocurrency, you would legitimately have to take away all electricity from everybody across the globe and and that would stop the mining process that would stop the validation process you would not be able to send you would not be able to receive and i i, I don't think that i don't think we'll ever get to that point but uh making it illegal some people would just stop they would say okay well it's illegal for me to have cryptocurrency now i should stop mining it but you know then the guy in el salvador who's mining cryptocurrency right now because it's a national currency uh, he's going to pick up my slack when I drop off. So extremely difficult, if not impossible, to stop cryptocurrency from happening. The The part where it comes into sanctions is whether or not people would be still be willing to transact with Russia, even though it was in cryptocurrency. Oh, let's see. And hopefully... I mean that sheds a little bit of light on it. If I if I do do a video, ask me some more questions or or you know pick up some on some parts right here where I would might need to clarify a little bit more, because I do think that Russia could absolutely use cryptocurrency, even if it was made illegal. I still think that they could use cryptocurrency, but uh, I don't know how much it actually curbs sanctions because. What are their intentions? Are they going to solely transact in, in Zcash? Are they going to be like El Salvador? Zcash or Monero become their their national currency? They don't care about the ruble anymore? Do they want to trade it for the ruble? Uh, these are all questions that Russia would have to ask at that point. But, they, yeah, they could absolutely make it happen. Uh, let's see. KYC. Ch -ch 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 
KYC, my friend, and if they disrupt Russia's internet, that could bring down the crypto market for the short term. Did you know that if you use VPN in China, it's a second degree to... <laughs> no, I did not that. I did not know that. But yeah, know your customer. Exactly, man. Know your customer. But that's if you're using a centralized exchange, right? If you are strictly just mining, you, you don't need... Uh, you don't have a centralized exchange if you're earning based on mining rewards. So yes, if you're trying to you know send your money over to Coinbase, then Coinbase is clearly going to know that you are pulling out ten thousand dollars that you mined over the course of a year. So you do have those things to worry about if you're going centralized exchange. But if you're strictly mining, it's decentralized. Best thing to do is turn off my electricity, and that brings the hacker aspect of war into the game. Also, which is definitely a big one. Yeah, right. And that is the the best they could do. So. Uh, <laughs> But even on that end, man, even on that end, and I do believe that Russia probably has a, a ton of, like, off-grid mining uh, farms or whatever you want to call them, but there are so many people out there that, you know, they mine based on solar farms and, and all of this that is just completely renewable energy, and I don't know what their what their internet would look like and how hackable that would be. I would imagine if they've got a, a huge mining farm, they would probably have a pretty secure pretty secure connection. But, I mean, yeah, if the hacker game comes into it, dude, that's that that might be the game we're fighting there. Good morning, Clay Bro and A Family. AMC Trapper. Good morning to you, my, uh, my man. Hey, hey, Clay Bro, the market is this past week has made me nervous. Ryan, what are you nervous about, man? What are you nervous? AMC is doing pretty good today. Not that we have done that to others, at least to my knowledge, but I do believe Russia has shut down power grids before, and they did uh, They just shut off the internet before it did it five days ago. That, listen, I have no idea what we... I wish I could... I wish I was a better hacker. I wish I could hack, in, like, to begin with. But I have no idea what we've done in the dark, man, or who we've put in the dark before. But, like, if they want to stop... If they want to stop crypto, that's what you have to do. If you want to stop people from mining it, and that's the tough part, man. How do you find like the guy that the, the guy like me that's running a single miner in his house and shut it off? There are millions of people like that, not including the main mining farms. I get it if you're a you're an incorporated business and, and your government just comes and shuts you down. But the decentralization aspect of it is that nobody controls it so how do you find that one last dude and shut him down cassie a member for nine months good morning everybody hashtag stamp your green let's get it cassie cassie thank you very much for the member chat good morning amc trapper i'm not a member of the eight family yet pika power is in here what's going on pika power morning natalie hello apes clay what's new man you know what i don't know how much is actually new chris seems like being green is a new thing that does seem like being green is a new thing there had a long weekend flew to mississippi to help my sister drive back 10 hours so patience is a little thin chris if your sister doesn't know this you love her it's true you could say it on the internet man and then it becomes true devil's advocate that's funny because russia had a crap ton of info leaked and most of the top officials military leaders were doxxed and their top military arms suppliers were hacked by anonymous right at least that's what i'm seeing on twitter personal question answer or not i'm just curious do you think it's dangerous for these institutions to have a legitimate decentralized currency you may choose to not answer. I won't be offended. Do I think it's dangerous for these oh these situations to have a legitimate decentralized? No, no. I don't think it's dangerous, man. Um, I I liken it to this, dude. I liken it to this. Everybody always seems to be a little bit worried about, you know, the the laundering aspect of cryptocurrency or the the potential dark side of cryptocurrency and i always look at you know narcos drug dealers these kingpins out there where they they bring in billions of dollars of cash a year let's just say that these that russia or or the us or me or anybody out there could be bringing in billions of dollars a year in let's just go out and say privacy coins right zcash monero probably the two biggest privacy coins that are out there and they're bringing in billions of dollars a year now zcash in and of itself could be potentially worthless right with all cryptocurrency could be potentially worthless 
The game becomes transferring it into something that you can spend. You have to launder it, right? And if you're getting it illegally, you have to launder it. If you're getting it legally, you're just going to hook up to a centralized exchange, convert it over, and pay your taxes on it, and move on with your life. But if they're bringing in the same way a drug dealer brings in billions of dollars of cash, and unless he's hooked up with some maybe you know dirty real estate agents who are going to sell him $10 million houses for $10 million in cash, never worry about finding where that cash went, or he's hooked up with a dirty banker and he's able to clean his money that way, getting it into the banking system, that is, you have to figure out how to launder it. I don't necessarily think it's a, a bad idea. Like, I don't think cash is a bad idea. Like, I, I don't think that the U.S. dollar is a bad idea simply because people can transact in it off the grid or without things being known. If I hand you a $10 bill, nobody knows, man. If I send you $10 in Zcash, nobody knows. But what's that $10 in Zcash worth until you can use a centralized form to turn it back into spendable money? Now, if people are willing to accept Zcash, then yes, it, it does blur the line for I guess, sovereign governments that have their own fiat currency and now they're competing with something that they can't control because right now they have total control of their currency. These these decentralized factors, they, they give up that control to literally nobody and everybody at the same time. Uh, I saw the AMC run up, started and got out. My cover calls halfway before, and my stop loss trigger. Well, Chris, or Chris. Well, Frank, man, I'm glad you got out before your stop loss triggered, and you didn't lose any more money. But yes, AMC is doing very well this morning. Hey, trap, trap, and what's going on? Quick, any thoughts on SoFi? They have earnings tomorrow as well. Uh, listen, I don't actually, Natalie. I have no idea what their earnings expectations will be. Will be like. I have none whatsoever. Dang, man. So, whew. Dude, this was actually an excellent level of support right here. So, here's the thing I'm looking at. If you're looking at SoFi, since I have no idea what the earnings are going to bring or anything like that, you're in a very nice uh, downtrend here. I'm going to move my microphone so I can see it a little better. You're in a very nice downtrend right here. Uh, nope, I want this. Lower lows, lower highs. Very nice descending channel. If this is broken to the upside, that could be good news, but you are going to have a little bit of resistance in this area right here. Just because, uh, you know, it hit it here, hit it here, hit it here again, and here before it was able to fall down. So this... $14 level is significant resistance on the way back up. But where we're at right now, I mean, we it did break back above that $10 mark, but with no significant level of resistance below, if it drops back down below where it was just yesterday, then uh, this downtrend could absolutely continue. So unfortunately, I have no idea. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm looking over. This is... This, this makes me a little mad. I was looking at this stupid stock at 58 cents, didn't buy it. I was looking at it at 68 cents on Friday, didn't buy it. Stock sitting up 103% today. I was talking to my dad about it this morning at a dollar one and didn't buy it. I was talking to Nick F about it this morning too. He said, Yeah, right, man. This thing could fall back down in no time. Golly. Oh man, 104% today alone. Well, can't cry over missed opportunities, but if anybody wants to see a runner right here, I don't even know if you're chasing it. There's no resistance on this chart. I don't even know if you're chasing it on this game. There's no resistance, man. This stock has done nothing but fall since $15. Darn it, man. I can't look at that. <laughs> That's depressing. Oh, King, I specifically was referring to us not shutting off power grid in the middle of a winter, letting innocent civilians die from freezing to death. Yeah, that would be bad. The most conflict has started in 2014 when the Ukrainian Democratic elected government of overthrowing the coup back, uh, back to the United States. It was the uh, Zelensky government is pro I have no idea, man. I have no idea. I don't follow politics that closely. What I am referring to with the power grid happened in 2015, it was with Google, something I disagree with your thoughts on not being that dangerous. However, I will still hold your pocket at the end of the day. No, dude, don't hold my pocket. 
uh, listen, danger becomes, and I will say this, okay, anything that can't be controlled could be considered dangerous. And there is a certain aspect of cryptocurrency in general, this whole idea of decentralization that can't be controlled. And that is inherently dangerous. Do I think that danger is necessarily bad? I mean, nature, you can't control it, dude. You can't control it. I, I've literally tried to, I, I've literally tried to keep these mice in my house for the last like month and a half. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. They, they want their freedom. They get out They get out of the cage. It doesn't matter if I lock them in a jail cell, they still get out. Um, nature can't be controlled. Is it dangerous? Maybe, maybe, but is it bad? I'm going to say no. Um, cryptocurrency can't be controlled in true decentralized form. Is it dangerous? Yeah, maybe. Is it bad? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I can say that it's bad. So if I was my only trading app that let me set AMC limit sell at 777, all others said it was too high. Nice, Cassie. I mean, that is very high from where we're at right now, but... I think you should be able to set your limit wherever you want to set it, right? Hello, you guys are cheering me up. So far, this has been a rough morning. My a kitty, Micah, spilled coffee all over my new couch, and then he started licking it up. <laughs> well, hey, listen, just trying to clean it up for you, Pika. Trying to clean it up for you. Micah was just trying to do his best. First, they're sour, and then they're sweet. Crypto. Yes, crypto, like wrestler, cannot be controlled. Is wrestler dangerous? Yeah, probably. Is wrestler bad? I don't think so. Exactly, those advocate. You got that, man. I control nature every time. <laughs> well, there you go, red line. Maybe some sort of nature can be controlled. Stocks can't be controlled. Yeah, so Juby's Fitness Revolution. In essence, you're right. You know, stocks cannot be controlled. It's supply and demand. It's people deciding which direction to go and so on. But stocks are on a centralized exchange. They can circuit. They can do circuit breaker halts. They can come in there and suspend trading on a certain stock. And all they got to do to do that is click a button. So with the centralized factor of it, if things do get out of control, if stocks do become a little bit too volatile or dangerous, they uh, they, they they do halt them. And in that regard, they can control them. But you're right. When it's people buying based on what they want to do, like that part can't be controlled. Hey, can you give us a brief background on Mon? So Mitch, as brief as I can, yes. I don't know a ton about them, but they are an electric vehicle maker. And actually, their, their um, income statement, they've been increasing their revenue and earnings very nicely over the last several years. They've been doing good growing and out of nowhere. So all of the news articles that I've read on Mon, CEO can't can't justify why the stock price is getting ripped. I don't know if it's shorts. I don't know if people are jumping out. Like nobody can determine why the price of Mon has been getting ripped from $15 all the way down to 50 cents. And it, look, now it's up another 10% from where it was a minute ago. I hate to calm down. This is FOMO right here. This is this is this is mad. This is Momo, man. I'm mad for missing out. Um. But if you look at their, if you look at their financials, I don't know because it doesn't show. This part doesn't show up on my, on my phone when I'm looking at it. So I don't know what's going on here. But if they did do zero revenue in the fourth quarter uh, this would be quarter one so I, I don't know why these um I, I don't know why their financials like w what this number is right here this is the latest one that shows up when you go through and look at it on on the mobile version of Weeble. but you can see man they've been growing their revenue quarter over quarter 73% growth here, 142% growth here, 100% growth here. Their earnings look good. You know, they were making 21 cents, 21 cents, 5 cents. And their revenue looked good. Their earnings looked good. And I don't know what is going on with this release right here. This is quarter one. I mean, it's it seems like slightly weird. Like, I, I don't understand what's going on with this release right here. But, uh... Electric vehicle maker, man, and they can't justify why their stock price is getting ripped. Anytime you can't justify why your stock price is getting ripped, that's a speculative trade, right? That's a speculative trade. It could absolutely rebound. 
and I'm sitting here at a dollar forty eight, right? Thinking that this is too expensive now because it's already gone up a hundred percent in a day. And Friday, Friday afternoon, man, I was watching it at seventy one to sixty eight cents, thinking that's it's probably too much, being at fifty cents, being at fifty cents a couple days ago. It's probably too much, dude. Now it's a buck forty. You would have doubled your money since Friday, and you've only been trading for three hours today. So the thing is, you get out now. Dude, this stock could rebound all the way back up to seven, eight dollars fairly simply, you know, fairly simply. But with an unjustified decline in price, this might be a bump. This might be a little bump here. People getting excited, people buying in, and then all of a sudden getting ripped off. Because today, that's some huge volume with 258 million shares being traded, and you're only two and a half hours into the trading day so far. So it's risky. But where there's risk, there's reward. So if anybody's going to go out there and buy Moln, especially on a day that it's rising 100%, uh, it's risky, okay? But if you're willing to take that risk, you can absolutely get the reward. 100% is nothing to mess around with. Real talk might make me a psychopath, but I get FOMO seeing all the Ukraine stuff going on. I want to be there helping. I, I don't think that makes you a psychopath, dude. I, I think that, that just there's a lot of people that do want to help. And, uh, you know, everybody, I, I guess... Uh, maybe not everybody, but everybody would like to play it to their strengths in order to help. Dude, you know, you got anonymous. They're trying to help because they're master hackers. You've got some people, they can donate. You've got some people who are, you know, going to be uh, sending care packages. Some people are going to be praying for Ukraine. Some people could absolutely fight. Like, I have no training fighting whatsoever, man. So, a part of me, uh, the, when the testosterone gets flowing, yes, a part of me would like to uh, absolutely help in any way possible, including, you know, f but I have no training whatsoever. So I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be as useful as somebody like you would be. So I get it, man. I get it. No, when you see people in need, eh, people step up and they absolutely want to help any way possible. Morning, how many Shiba have been bought out of the five? So out of the 550 trillion, man, CD Wit, all of them have been accounted for, okay? That's a question that I actually talked about this weekend uh, with my dad. You know, how many Shiba Inu coin have actually been bought so far? Now, there are Shiba Inu coin in liquidity pools. Let's, let's go over that really quick. Like, if you want to go out there to Uniswap or you want to go to Shiba Swap and you want to buy Shiba Inu coin, you can... Because it's in liquidity pools. People are staking their Shiba Inu coin. People are providing that liquidity so other people can go out and buy it. And that's where you get the rewards. Like, I, I actually think, and somebody can correct me on this, but I, I, I looked up the staking rewards for Shiba, Bone, and Leash. And I think Bone was somewhere around 80%. Shiba was at like 30% uh, over the weekend. So people that are providing the liquidity to, to Shiba Swap and so on by staking their coins, they still own those. But they're they're it's like when you take your money to the bank. If you take your money and put it in a checking account, put it in a savings account, that bank, man, they're they're lending their your money out to some guy that wants to go out there and get an equity line on his house, or some guy that wants to get a mortgage, or some guy that wants to buy a car. They're loaning your money out. Now you can go get it back. I mean, banks are basically Ponzi schemes, dude. You can go get it back, and you can have that cash. It's not the original cash you deposited. It's probably the cash that I deposited. So you can go take my cash out. And then when I want to get it, I take Nick F's cash out and get my, my, my money back. So everybody's providing liquidity for everybody else. But, uh, you know, the 540 trillion coins would have already been accounted for. Pugnacious! Thank you for the super chat. Read that. Read what? Did Wait, wait. Did Pugnacious say something or did I miss something from somebody else, man? Uh, let's see. Pugnacious. 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 I don't know. Oh, crap, man. I don't know if Pugnacious sent something. Uh, what would Kim Jansen do? I don't even know who that is. Did I, is that what I miss? WWKGD. What would Kim Jansen do? Is that what I missed? That was what I was supposed to read? Pugnacious, man. I'm sorry if I've missed something. Uh, pretend I didn't say a company because that stuff makes me look silly. As far as a brain fart goes, I meant Russia. It's, I know I missed something going on. When an electric vehicle or Russia rip based off of war with... A, uh, electric vehicle company rip based off of war with Russia is... Import and export is basically a gas station as far as they have to offer. So, yes, Russia does do that.
Oh, uh, okay, so I see what you're saying. So would an electric vehicle somebody, company like Mon rip based on news of, of potential sanctions or, or even elevated sanctions with Russia? Yes, that is a possibility, but also uh, oil exporters too. So it's not just the push towards clean energy at that point that we, we, we could see ripping based on this war with Russia, but... Uh, you know, oil exporters too, especially those that are outside of Russia. I mean, I mean, clearly, if you cut off all of Russia's oil supply, if we do, we have not done that as far as I know. If we do, then, you know, the people in Saudi Arabia, dude, they can charge whatever they want. Everybody's going to have to go rely on them. So their business, their demand is going to increase exponentially based on that. So, yeah. Energy in general can rise when there's a potential energy crisis around the corner. Pugnacious, thank you. And then I've got one from Caesar. Thank you for the super chat. Caesar says, Clay, bro, how much for you to go bald and shaved? Uh, Caesar, can I use a filter? Can I use a filter, man? If I can use a filter, I'll, I, I'll do it. I actually took a picture of myself bald with a filter the other day. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's disgusting, dude. It's disgusting. Like, if you guys like, you know, cats, like Danelle, right? Danelle likes cats. She puts pictures of cats. Cats can be nice. Cats can be nice looking. And then when you go to, like, a, a picture of a normal cat to, like, a Dr. Evil cat with no hair, you were like, Ugh. it just, it gets you. It hits you different, man. So that would be like you seeing me with hair and then you seeing me without any hair. It would be a shock to your system. And you'd probably, that would probably break the internet. Not in a good way. It would probably break the internet in a bad way. Like you would literally hit your router with a hammer so you didn't have any more Wi Fi. Just stop begging. So, Devil's Advocate saying some grip about, <laughs> of course, Chris, of course. What else did you, like, that's why you got to stay here, man. Like, it isn't a whole my beer situation. Chuck my beer situation. I'm on, I'm the dude in Call of Duty whose KD is like, kill to death is like 0 to 37. I trash talk hard and die a lot, but I do it pride. That would be me, man. That would be me in Call of Duty for sure. BBIG can't catch a bid. What is BBIG doing? I haven't looked at that recently. Uh, BBIG, I know we got that over here. Yeah, down 3%. Dude, it's tough. It, it's, it's a tough market for a lot of stocks out there right now too. Don't think that this is normal. This is still running, man. This is still running. God. Is anybody, hey, is anybody going to buy MULN today? Like after seeing this, is anybody bold enough to try this? If you are, I'll put a line on the screen to, to see if you make some money today or not. We can watch that, but God, I'm not going to do it now. I, I watched this stock. It's stinking 68 cents on Friday, man. I can't get in right now at 152. If anybody else wants to try, I'll put a line where you get in at, but nah, I can't do this today. I can't. I can't do that. I'll give you 10,000 Russian rubles to shave. <laughs> oh, here, dude. Ten, I don't know what 10,000 Russian rubles are worth right now, but... Uh, if this entire situation calms down a little bit, don't take this the wrong way, anybody, but there's probably a lot of money to be made in Russian bonds and Russian currency right now because <laughs> the world's attention span is very, very short. I'll put it that way. I Blame TikTok, blame Vine. I mean, it probably started with Vine. Blame whatever you want, right? The world's attention attention span is very small. It's very short. If three weeks from now, this entire thing just blows over and we're on to the next thing, or even if it's like three months from now, the Russian ruble will probably recover and Russian debt will probably recover. And uh, you could probably make a decent amount of money. I'm not saying go provide liquidity and invest in Russia. I'm just saying, like, it, it, it'll probably blow over sometime. Adria, thank you very much for the super chat. Adria says, hello, all. And of course, my boy, Clay. Hope everyone is well. I have missed you all, but now doing better and back to getting into trouble. What a better place to get into trouble than right here with your bros, Adria. Right? Get in trouble with your bros. I like it. Jay Sierra. Oh, Sierra. Sierra. Not Sierra. Jay Sierra. Thank you very much for the super chat, Jay Sierra. I like that. Look at that. Man, that dude looks cool in that picture. I need a picture like that. Shoot. Jay Sierra, thank you very much for the super chat. Adria, thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate all of you guys. Hoot, you got me locked on. More. My hand is shaking. Mitch, man, you pull the trigger. Let me know. If anybody pulls the trigger on that, I want to know. What's a vine? Am I too old? JB, no, man. You might be too young. Remember Vine? 
it was it was like I think the the cutoff was nine second videos on Vine. It was like the original TikTok, but nine second videos. And uh, I never used. I had a Vine, but I never used it. But you know, people had that as an alternative to like Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and stuff. You're probably too young. Come on now, JB. Vine's been done and gone for a while so don't take this the wrong way buddy first of all someone's gonna make that money anyway it mind it uh, in mind it may what in mind as way be my favorite hairline receding gene coven you yeah i don't know what in anyways it mind as as way <laughs> i think that might have been a typo that you just got me on that one but yeah dude we might as well make some money, right? We might as well make some money. We can do some good with that money. BSM Sports. Thank you very much for the super chat. <gasps> Incredible. <gasps> Incredible. <gasps> Incredible. Thank you very much, BM Sports, for the incredible super sticker there. Thank you, man. Appreciate all of the support today, guys. If the NHL seriously considers banning wrestling players, it would be the biggest cancel of all time. Possibly, I I don't know anything about hockey, man. I don't know anything about hockey. You can only choke a person with cold, hard cash. Well, yes, that is true. Click, don't shave, be looking like a nigga mole rat. Just kidding. No, Cindy, you're not kidding. You're not kidding. The shave wouldn't be as bad, but like, dude, bald? It's nonsense. It's nonsense. I remember Bat Dad had great Vine videos. Wrestler. <laughs> that bro. Yes, that probably was wrestler. I remember that dude, man. That probably is wrestler making his comeback now. Oh my gosh. I get people aren't helping Ukraine because it could start a world war right now. But but right now, I feel like the government is acting like Twitter. Do someone do do someone we don't like will just shun you from the world. Yeah, man. Yeah, and I understand it to a certain extent too, right? I, I mean, you have alliances for for lack of a better term allies and and so on and there's a certain i i, I don't know man as a moral person you always want to get involved and help somebody out if you can help them but there are certain lines you can't cross as well so yeah it's tough man it is very very tough and to everybody sitting on the sidelines watching especially people on Twitter, watching, wanting to do something, wanting somebody else to do something. It, it's very tough, man. It's very tough. Uh, let's see. Yes, a rhino. But bro, where's Ryan? Is Rhino in here? I don't even know. Oh, am I still truly a bro if I don't have a wrench or a green or even qualified to be kings? Of yes, absolutely. Look, dude, reality rhino. If you did not click the subscribe, bro, uh, subscribe button, then no, I'm not going to say you're a bro because you have to do it. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button, join, you know, click, if this subscribe button's still red, click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. So you gotta subscribe to be a bro. If you did not subscribe, you're not a bro yet, but you can absolutely be one without a green name, or without a blue name, and without a crown from Pika. But... But Pika may one day give you that crown, man. Clay, if you were ultra rich, would you be more into buying land or investing in gold like Bezos and Gates? Uh, listen, ultra rich, like if you're talking Bezos and Gates rich or Elon Musk, ri Musk rich, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I would probably not just target one specific thing over another. Land is cool. I mean, it's nice. But, dude, they... They tax you, man. They tax you on all this real estate and all this land. And and I just wouldn't want to get taxed any more than I would absolutely deem necessary. Um I don't know. I would I would be completely diversified, man. I'd have crypto, I'd have some gold, I'd have some silver, I'd have uh you know, potentially just even some small businesses too that are, you know, maybe Mark Cuban it up a little bit, investing in a bunch of small businesses, diversifying that way. Because, dude, you got some people that are out there hustling, trying to make their small businesses grow, and Mark Cuban is not doing anything wrong there. So, I don't know, man. I, I would try to be as diversified as possible. Would I have, like, a mansion in every state? No, I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't. I wouldn't need anything like that. And I wouldn't want to pay the taxes on anything like that. J. Sierra, thank you for the super chat. Is it safe being in an exchange like crypto.com? So yes, J. Sierra, I do believe it is, is safe to be in a centralized exchange. Crypto.com, Coinbase, Binance, all of these different exchanges out there. Let's go through a... That's actually a good question, J. Sierra. Especially at a time like this, man. So let's say you're on an exchange like crypto.com and you're worried about... Uh, you know, regulations going so far into crypto that they just shut it down, right? And in that regard, it's not like you're going to wake up tomorrow and crypto.com is going to be shut down and you're not going to be able to take your money out. You're not going to be able to get your money out. There, there would have to be a, like a grace period, a warning same deal, man. Like if you're worried about, and this could be slightly different too, but if you're worried about uh, the banks just closing down tomorrow, it's a tough concern considering the times that we're living in, but you got to equate it to that, man. If crypto.com shuts down and you can't get your money out because the government wants to just stop crypto, if they're going to want to tax you on your crypto, man. They, they might stop trading, but they're going to allow you to cash it out so they can tax you on it. But if we get to a point in time, man, where the banks just close and they say, forget you, you're not getting your money, I would be very, 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 very upset, yes, as everybody else would. But I also think that uh, kind of like a... I don't know if this is the correct term or not, but like a, a survival mode would start to kick in too. And the money in the bank might not be your biggest concern at that point. So I'm not I'm not in any way trying to say that, you know, just banning crypto.com or banning a bank would be anything less of a problem. But I think you would have higher priorities at that moment. Uh, let's see. I think Clay needs Wolverine hairdo and facial hair. Cindy, you want to see some Wolverine hair? Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got on the Wolverine hair. Yeah, Cindy, we could do... We could get that Wolverine hair going. I can't really see where this is at. Go. Go. I can't. It's hard to look in the camera and then see it at the same time. We could get the Wolverine hair going. Absolutely. It looks better when I can look straight at the mirror and do it. But yes. I'm going to see Batman this Wednesday. A wrestler. Where's wrestler? Oh, there he is. All right. Now. Subscribe and become a bro. It's cheapy. Let's do it. Yeah. Click the subscribe. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel already, what are you waiting on? Come on now. Natalie says, got to get that lion's mane going on. I do. I need to have at least some sort of hair. It looks it just it looks weird without it. Always factor in. Someone's decided to be selfish with those kind of questions, predictions. Like, gosh, Claire, the government said they would try to get their cut if, when that kind of stuff happened. So it likely not just be gone. Yeah, dude, they would, man. The government would absolutely try to get their cut. They will tax it. They will say <laughs> what they would say is, okay, look. We'll send you. We'll let you send your crypto money to the bank, so you can be taxed on it. But then we'll just stop the bank from working too. So it's not likely just to be gone right away. We'll at least process it, so we can take as much as possible. Devil's advocate is right on that one. This is killing me, bro. Justin, I'm still alive. Glad you're in here, though. Don't die. 110 watch and only nine. Oh, there's no way there's only nine likes, dude. If you guys only got nine likes on here, I'm stopping. Uh, there's 43 likes. Still, click the like button. Go to 100 likes. Go to 100 legs. Are you for real, wrestler? I didn't even see what he said. Darn it, I am bad dad. No, dude, if he was bad dad, that would be the most amazing thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. And I would feel like I'm in the presence of a true star, and I would ask for your autograph. I would send you a bro shirt. You could send me a bad dad shirt. Your videos on Shiba are getting darker and darker. Are we losing hope? Him, no, I don't think we're losing hope, man. I don't think we're losing hope. I think we might be losing direction a little bit. Um, you know, cryptocurrency in general is, is down. And the community... It, as a whole, I believe is putting way too much focus on the developers, right? And with with all this attention on the developers, it wasn't like that back in October, November, when 
uh, Shiba Inu coin was running. When Shiba Inu coin was running higher, it was purely on speculation and it was purely on people wanting to buy it. Now, we need the developers to do this. We need the developers to do that. We need the developers to do this. We need the developers to do that. And it's like, why? You know, why do we need it? Why do we need them to do that? Shiba Inu coin it made more money as a meme coin than literally any other investment in, in the last decade. So... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think we're we're losing hope or anything like that, but it's getting a little weird. I love Ethereum today. Shiba headed in the right direction. Let's get it. I'm doing homework. I'll like it in a minute. Hennessy. Well, make sure you like it and don't forget now. Come on now. How do you feel about Saitama? Ah, uh, Jay Sierra, man. I don't have any Saitama, and I know a lot of people are wondering about that. Did they ever release that side of mask? Because I swear last weekend they were supposed to release that. Shib, shib, what shib? Shiba, 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 inu coin. Hoi, actually going to make a solo sanction in crypto video about hypotheticals. About the hypotheticals, 1010 would watch and shoot, man. I'd even allow you to give me credit for the topic. What should, yeah, so if I can figure out a way to, uh, to do that in like an organized fashion, going over these hypotheticals, I mean, basically right now, Clearly, I'm not going to make it a 45-minute long video like we've been streaming. But uh, if I could condense it and kind of go over a couple situations, then yeah, man, I, I would make a video on that. And if anybody wants to DM me some maybe maybe hit points on a video like that on Twitter, do it. And then I can make one because I do think that would be a decent topic to cover, especially since Russia's trending, Ukraine's trending, crypto's trending. Everybody's worried about this. Everybody's worried about that. I, I mean, yeah, worry, but don't worry about everything. Hey bro, what are you doing for Shiba Inu? Uh, JJ Shib Killer, very good question, man. Very good question. Um, so I'm not actually going out there and like running any single business or anything like that, but I do think that it's kind of shedding some light in some videos twice a day, every single day, is uh, at least allowing people to gain exposure. They don't have to watch the videos, right? To what is going on with the project. So kind of that uh, distribution of information, I would be, I would say, it would be a, a decent thing that I would be doing for Shiba Inu Coin at this point. Um, talking about various projects and things like that. I don't know. So is that a good answer? Or is that a bad answer? So Tom keeps saying dates and miss. Oh man. That one dude. Why do they do that? Because some kid was adamant that they were going to be doing it last weekend or this weekend. Cloud is definitely real uh, for the topic at the moment. Ah, uh, yes, dude. Yeah, I will take advantage of the, the clout anytime. JJ Shib Clay literally posts a million Shiba videos to keep the community engaged. <laughs> I don't know if it's been a million videos, but dude, it is, it's been... It's been a lot of videos. That's sure. That's for sure. I'll send you some of my personal bullet points on it. Boom! Let's get it, man. Now talk about those bullet points. John Richmond at times should be. You know, yeah, yeah. So is that today? Did they actually announce that yet, or is that going to be? They're gonna announce that later today. Kimungu, you should really support to let it burn a big chip. No, no, no. Yeah, I do, man. Michael, or my, uh. Matthew Perry, man. I, I like that kid. I like that kid, and I like what he's doing. So I, I do support that channel. I like what he's what he's got going on over there. Wrestler, I noticed you have a wrench. Congrats, bro. Yes, peak of power. Wrestler, unfortunately, still has his wrench. Um, it was a temporary wrench on Friday, and in true Clay Bro fashion, I completely forgot everything that was going on over the weekend and did not take his wrench away. Hey, in your opinion, is it wise to buy more Shiba right now? Cindy, the right now is the tough part. Do I think it's going to go higher than the 2,500 points that it's at? Yes, I absolutely do. Do I think it's going to go lower first? It, it, that is a definite possibility. So when you say, is it a good time to buy right now? If you've got a long-term focus, yeah, I think you're going to make money. But if you're looking for the best opportunity to buy, like this is the dead bottom, you're never going to get a better deal. I don't know if anybody can ever answer that question. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't know if anybody can ever accurately time it perfectly. They can get lucky. But I don't know if they can ever accurately time it perfect. Michael Anzalone. Thank you very much for the super chat, Michael. Appreciate that, man. And if you got a question or anything like that, please make sure that I see it. Michael is the man. JP, hit that like button, please, guys. <laughs> hit that like button like that unicorn. Thank you very much, JB, for the nine-month member chat. I love it. I love it. Who thinks... Ooh, 
Ooh, this is a good question. This is a good question. I'm thinking about, we get a lot of people that are going to be turning the corner on their nine-month member chat, uh, to one-year member chat coming up here pretty soon. Around, uh, what, end of spring, beginning of summer? I don't know, man. I see, I, I forget who gave me that idea the other day, but uh, I'm thinking, like, thinking T-shirts or tank tops or something for anybody that hits a, a one-year membership. What do you guys think about that idea? I think that might be might be something that I have to do. Might have to stock up on some t-shirts or tank tops or something and uh, do some giveaways for one-year members. 50% like ratio. Hit the like button. Please hit the like button, guys. Let's get over 100 likes. Personally, I'm short-term bullish on crypto because of the sanctions. Even the topic of a global choice to cut off items to a specific group should cause some hype and or even Russia usage. I would expect so. Yeah, I would expect so. Um, the thing is though, that you got to worry about too, what if, what if they start, you know, trouble with cryptocurrency? What if they do start banning, uh, centralized exchanges because like they, in whatever side of the field you guys land on, you know, like in Canada, man, when they were banning GoFundMe, what if they're like, well, people are using crypto to send to Russia or send to Ukraine. This has got to be stopped. So they stop centralized exchanges. Um, that That is a possibility. That is a possibility. And in that case, ooh, I feel like crypto would get hit hard in that case. I learned a lot on a farm. It's no, it's not a good idea to put all your eggs in one basket because an ornery goat knocks it over and breaks them all. Yes, man. And an ornery goat. You gotta you gotta watch out for those ornery gro- goats, man. So can find anything on Moln. Yeah, Mitch. As far as like anything on Moln, like getting ripped, I couldn't find anything on it either, man. Official Clay Bro Kia Forte giveaway. Frank, I'm not doing an official Clay Bro Kia Forte giveaway. No, but maybe a, a shirt. Yes. You should reach out to Matthew Perry and do something together. Let's burn this Sheba. Oh yeah, Michael. I actually, I actually could. I, he's been wanting. Uh, like I don't, I don't how, know how his playlist works, but like he said that I could get some videos on his playlist and things like that. That we could absolutely uh, partner up together. I mean, he's cool, man. I like that guy. Sit in his DMs. I was wondering because I was thinking about buying more. I was wondering, I was thinking about buying more. Uh, I'm both long and short-term focused. Cashing out a little with short-term game. Keep the rest in for the long. Yeah, Cindy. So I hope that answer, like, I hope that answer was decent. Because I'm not going to lie. That answer doesn't offer a ton of clarity. It doesn't tell you whether or not I think it's the absolute bottom. But I, I do think long-term it could absolutely go higher than this 2500 that we're at right now. I think it can go higher in the short-term. But I with the amount of volatility that we got in the market right now i don't i honestly don't think that anybody could could predict like a a perfect entry or a perfect bottom and i know that's what everybody wants i would want it uh a buy and then a new iphone a better than one year membership buy buy them a new iphone dwight that would be nice if i just bought everybody with a one-year membership a new iphone that would be very good I know you're not a financial advisor, but what is the minimum amount best to have in your opinion on Shiba? Uh, so, Hennessy God, what do you mean? Like, the minimum amount invested? It all depends on your goals, man. It all depends on your goals and your current situation. So, if you want a million dollars and you believe it's going to go to a penny, even if that's 10 years from now, dude, I would gladly take a million dollars in 10 years from now. I will be very, very happy with myself today if I gave myself a million dollars ten years from now, I would need a I would need one hundred million Shiba Inu coin. One hundred million Shiba Inu coin at these prices is twenty five hundred dollars. If I can turn twenty five hundred dollars into a million dollars, that's excellent. Now, maybe I don't have twenty five hundred dollars to invest, right? If if that's my case, and I still believe it can go to a penny, and I go out there and buy what uh, ten million Shiba Inu coin. And I spend two hundred and fifty dollars, dude. I am going to be thrilled with a hundred thousand dollars in the future. So it all boils down to a couple things: how high do you believe it can go? What are you? What is your current financial situation? And what are your financial goals? 
Because it's not necessary to have $100,000, man. It's not necessary to have a million dollars. It's it's clearly not. You know, you can get by just fine. If you made if you don't have the money for if you don't have 25 $250 to invest, dude, if you put 25 bucks in Shiba Inu coin and over the next couple of years it turns into $10,000 right? The guys that invested uh, 2,500 have a million, but you went out there with 25 bucks and you've got $10,000. Dude, now you got a decent portfolio that you can absolutely generate some nice passive income on and supplement your current income. It's all about the position you're currently in, what you're looking forward to doing, and what you believe is possible. So I don't know. I don't know what the, the best amount to have invested in is. Dang, that sounded like a financial advisor answer, didn't it? I'm an idiot myself, man. Come on. Chris, thank you for the super check. Chris says, click my one year. Please make that AMC long story short. Fall of 72 on the back. Solid shirt idea, at least, to fall of 72. Sh and that would be cool, Chris. That would be cool. Like, if you had bro and then, like, just fall of 72 on the back or something, like class of 72, you were the fall of 72. Uh, yeah, guys, I think it's a cool idea. And I don't know. Maybe I'd do a, a combination if you guys – because it would be summertime when a lot of people start to hit that one-year mark uh, or at least, you know, end of spring going on summertime. So I do think it would be cool to do either T-shirts or a or some sort of a tank top giveaway if you guys wanted one of those. I, I, I think I'm going to end up going those routes. Uh, sorry, Reno. Keep telling people to sell their AMC, and I keep putting you in timeout. Oh no, no, wrestler, don't get put in timeout. John Reno, you trying to bankrupt these people? <laughs> yeah, don't bankrupt anybody, please. Driving, Danilo's driving right now. Good deal, Cassie. Call him. Call who? I didn't see it. Darn it! What do we got here? Paul. Thank you for the super chat, Paul. Paul says, "Bruce, I got Frank to meow in his live stream. Almost fell out of my chair. Check him out. Meows are free on his channel. Thank you." <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say anything the other day. I was creeping on Frank's live stream. And I think it was Friday before I started recording my videos. I forget what day it was last week. It was either Friday or Thursday. And uh, I think it was Friday. I was creeping on Frank's live stream. Paul was in there for a minute, man. Frank's a good guy, dude. Frank's got a lot of good knowledge. If you guys want to hang out with Frank, man, hang out with Frank. Because... He was going over a bunch of stuff, and uh, definitely beneficial if you guys got some option questions and things like that. I did not see him meow, okay? I did not see him meow. But yes, that would probably knock me out of my chair, too, if Frank was over there meowing. Probably a little different when I meow, but man, Frank, it's like a dude, you know? I uh, said we get to do a live stream with you on the one year. I uh, said we get to do a live stream with you. I oh, said so we could do, do a live stream with you on our one year bro anniversary. Mr. Normus, that could be a uh, a decent idea too. We could do like the only thing. This listen, I know you guys would probably be fine with it, but the only thing don't make me nervous. If uh, if you come on here for the live stream, you got to be respectful. You got to keep the language clean. You got to do all of that stuff, and uh, you know because it is live. Like I, I can't, I, I have no choice but to to let you be you and do that stuff. But I would ask for. I would ask for respect if I if I do something like that, but that would be cool. Do like a, a five minute call up or whatever, hang out for a minute and and go with it. I think that would be awesome. I want a I want a million at one cent. I'm fifty one million should be right now, thirteen hundred in. But my girlfriend doesn't want me to put more in. But oh boy, boy, she sure will put <laughs> Kalani. Yeah, man. And and here's the deal. Maybe she doesn't want you to put any more in, but if it goes down, I mean, you're gonna be able to get it for an even better price. If uh, you know, if something did like drastic did happen with a centralized exchange or whatever, I think that I think the crypto would fall if some crypt if some centralized exchanges got shut down or or whatever. So it, it, the possibility of a downside isn't the like isn't out of the the question at this point. So I do see it being a possibility, but at the same time, man, don't stress any relationships or anything like that. Somebody doesn't want you to buy more. I guess if it's your money, dude, it's your money. You can do what you want with it. But don't stress any relationships, right? Hoot, thoughts on AMC post earnings? Do you think you go up? Yes, Natalie. I was actually looking at that. So I did not buy any calls or puts on AMC. But I was looking at the at the prices for calls and puts on AMC because I was thinking about buying puts because every time AMC has good good information or good earnings releases, 
the price tends to go down and I'm expecting a very good earnings release. So I didn't want to risk it though, man. This could be, that, that would be me. Like I go in, I grab some puts because expecting a great earnings release for AMC. And then because I bought the puts, that's the day that it goes up. So I didn't end up buying anything. But yeah, I absolutely do think that with a, a very strong earnings release, we could see AMC stock go higher. How much higher? You know, I don't know. Break back into the 20s? Absolutely. 30s? Uh, I doubt we double in price based on an earnings report. But, you know, a, a nice bump up in value is possible. Paul! Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I know Danelle is going to be looking after this one. Thank you very much, Paul, for the super chat. Oh, we got all of Danelle's cats going crazy right now. So really appreciate that, man. My gosh. Whew. Smash the like button. No spammy. Keep comments respectful. No shit. Yeah, well, you can let me show, though. Like, you can let me show. If you guys got a project in here and you want me to show your project for, I'll show it. Also, Glit, my birthday is coming up April 1st, so no more talking about Shiba. Got to take care of your singing voice, and your voice always goes away from talking too much Shiba. Chris, dude, you still got an entire month before your birthday, man. Calm down. It's going to be the biggest April Fool's ever. I'm going to ban you on your birthday and then say, <laughs> April Fool's, and then unban you. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Chris can handle it, right? I hope so. I hope so. All right. What do we, why do we even have Sundial on the chart right now? Why don't you guys tell me? We got Sundial sitting down here, up 0.35% of the day. NASDAQ, point half a percent in the green or in the red now. Darn it. Farmy sitting at 1694, bouncing back down into the 16s after going all the way up to 1730-ish. We got GameStop sitting at 120.99, giving up some of the day's gains. Prague sitting at $1.35. AMC stock 18.32 after being well into the 19s today. So we are following the NASDAQ lower, ladies and gentlemen, but it is all right. It is all right. We're giving up those 8% gains. We're still holding on to 3% gains. So at least we got an uh, afternoon run to look forward to. We can bounce off some of these lows, and we got a nice afternoon run to look forward to. Like I got to say, Mullen's cars look pretty nice. The website is slick, too. I'm going to invest, bro. No, Mitch, good deal, man. Good deal. If you Are you getting in today, or do you think you might see a pullback or something tomorrow? It's got to, I, I would imagine... Watching the NASDAQ fall like that and these stocks follow, I would imagine Mullen's back down a little bit. Let's see. Not much from about a buck fifty back down to a dollar forty-five. So yeah, dude. Yeah. It uh I wouldn't mind investing in it either. Not necessarily just trading the stock, but it, it like a day like this is crazy, man. To watch it go up a two hundred percent in the last three days is is nuts to me. But I mean, you can clearly see the upside potential. If people jump back on, the upside potential is, is very, very strong. And then I'll reban him when Clay isn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's going to happen. Chris, man, April Fool's is probably going to be a bad day to have a birthday, man. JB, I'd take you guys chipping in for more AMC shares. I'll get the rent covered. Boom. There you go, Chris. There you go. Uh, as long as he pays the rent. Well, at least one share of AMC, right? Okay, Ryan up. Please do. Did not see what he said. Darn it. I missed it. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, is Mr. Norman's profile pick another rotten banana that doesn't look like a rotten banana or a cup in the handle? I'm seeing it's wrong. Like, really wrong. Oh, Mr. Norman's picture. I have not seen Mr. Norman's picture. Try not to look it. Some of your guys' pictures because they scare me. Oh, uh, you're looking at it wrong. You're looking at it wrong. You got to look at that picture bigger. You're looking at it wrong, though. It does look like what you're thinking you're looking at, but no, it's uh, you're looking at it wrong. No, sorry for saying it a third time, but hi, and we missed you. Yes. Julia, I might do it just for you. Do it, man. Chris, real talk. Did you vote for that rent is too darn high, dude, back in the day? <laughs> he probably did, man. He probably did. Nah, at least Chris pays his rent, man. I know some people just haven't been paying their rent for like the last three years. And then when the moratorium's over with, they're going to be out. Only picture I ever noticed is Shredders. It definitely looks like what you think. The like button, right? Looks like the like button. 
Sheba, six and a half cents this week. No. No. Uh, we can place a bet. Uh, if Sheba doesn't go to six and a half cents this week, every single one of you have to get at least 10 people to subscribe to the channel. If it does go to six and a half cents this week, I will give all 97 of you uh let's just do an easy hundred bucks okay I give it all you guys a hundred bucks if it goes to six and a half cents this week and if it doesn't you guys gotta all go find 10 subscribers that's like one to ten to one odds dollars to subscribers too so it's great odds for you guys the like button on its side now nah, the like button's still vertical on shredder there Shih Tzu Inu, uh, bagging it up now. I don't know what we're talking about, but nice. So sh well, I shouldn't invest by how the car looks, but if the company is sitting at a dollar and change, I'll take the gamble. It's an electric vehicle company. It uh, could be a millionaire maker. Hey, Mitch, it could be, man. It could be. Now, I know that, and I don't even know where these cars are. If they're in the U.S. market, I haven't done a ton of research on mall, man. But, yeah, it, it, you know, especially if you're thinking about holding it long term, too. I mean, there's going to be a day when we might have to go all electric vehicles, right? And sure, you're still going to be competing with Ford, Dodge, all these guys out there, Chrysler, Chevy. Uh, it's GMC. It, you know, they're all going to be electric one day. And Mullen could absolutely be a big player. I don't know. I, I don't have a problem with the clean energy, and I don't have a problem with Mullen either. I wish I knew why they went from $15 to $0.50, cents, but I don't know. Hey, Julia Ressler are the only cool people. No, I'm cool in the live stream too, Reality Rhino. I'm cool too, man. She would have $0.6.5 cents for real. Don't play with me. <laughs> Julia. Well, listen, you guys took the bet. You guys took the bet. So you all got to find 10 friends if it doesn't make it. Otherwise, I'm giving you all $100. I'm just helping Adam Levine promote getting rid of acne. Exactly. Exactly. Mr. Normus. That's all you're doing there. Uh, I keep getting disappointed by Shiba Inu announcements. Michael, it happens, dude. It ha <clears throat> it happens. I think it's because we're putting too much, too high of expectations on the announcements. I truly do. Hey, Julia. Uh, Mark says, hey, Julia. I don't even see what Mes Wrestler said there. Darn it. Or not Wrestler, Rhino. I didn't even see what Rhino said. Darn it. What's up, Shiba Army? To the moon, Michael. Let's go, man. Southern California is the headquarters. Well, dang, dude. Doesn't sound bad at all to me, then the heck time to for not thinking tra oh, man. trapper is cool though trapper is cool that is a fact it's not even a it's not even an opinion trapper is cool it's a fact never voted it's hurt versus it's hurt is still a pile of crap <laughs> just <laughs> it's hurt versus it's hurt is still a pile of crap oh gosh i'm so good at stocks a veggie stocks a beef stock a chicken stock now i just need to get better at money stock granddaddy funk man don't we all? Don't we all? We all have winners. We all have losers, but it is all right, man. Just to let you know, guys, I'm on the way. I'm feeling I'm feeling the vibe on the Shiba Inu right now. I hold about roughly close to about 10 million Shiba Inu right now and climbing. Michael, very nice, man. Very nice. Yes, I, I do hope that not only the amount of Shiba Inu you hold, hold is climbing, but also the price is climbing as well. And everybody out here makes some money. Some Jones still coming... Natalie, I have not seen Slip of Jones since you left. I'm pretty sure you broke his heart. But I'm, I am I feel comfortable blaming that on you. And the fact that you were not in here for a while, Slip of Jones kind of slipped out. So I've not seen Slip of Jones in quite some time. Uh, let's see. That is hilarious. I know I missed something. This chicken stock is hilarious. Is that the one you're laughing at? Grandpa Buddy doesn't like his sister anymore. No! Grandpa Barney, come back, please. I typed it. I typed in Mon in the chat. I meant to Google it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. It's all right though, Natalie. Guys, it's one o'clock. Don't be like Mitch. Don't Google in the chat. Google and Google, and then come back out to the chat. Uh, do you remember all the people in these live streams? Justin. Yes, man. Yes. Maybe not every single one if you're not typing, but yeah. I absolutely try my best. Trapper, you improve that self-talk, or I'm going to time you out too, boy. Yeah, Trapper, 
Trevor's like one of the coolest dudes. I wish I was as cool as Trevor. Hold AMC Apes. All right, guys. With, uh, get your names in the chat right now. Let's get the shout outs going on. We'll be back in a couple of hours. We do have a mid afternoon pullback going on right now. So hopefully we get a nice power hour run towards the end of the day and we come we finish green and everything is looking good but thank you to everybody who was in here are we close to 100 likes 77 don't forget guys if you haven't clicked the like button we're only 23 away from 100 likes if you guys want to go ahead and click that as we end the stream thank you in advance but let's get these shout outs going guys and then we'll be back a little bit later thank you everybody for being in here marky mark man see you later frodo chris jb marky mark pika power shredda jb is the king of the chat today jb got the king of the chat king of the chat from pika power i like it shredda chris amc trapper natalie have a great afternoon as well justin johnson see you later devil's advocate mr uh mr what agress mr agress Donnell, enjoy your afternoon john bsm sports lou it's Paul, Outdoor Smile, Can, Mana, uh, DD214, see you later. Next track, Marky Mark, Justin, Julia, Can of Mana, and Jeff, uh, Jeff York, see you later. Mark L of Crypto, or yeah, Mark L, see you later. Real Wrestler, <laughs> Vegetarian, man, I like it. Dindy James, Chris, SD, see you later. Great channel, bro. Thank you very much, SD. Thanks for being in here. Justin Johnson, AFC Trevises, peace out to the Diamond Handed Apes and the Shiba Army. Pika Power, see you later. All right, you guys know what time it is, so if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Till the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.